The one other solution that I wanted to talk about is kind of interesting and a little novel, and it's called Symbol Set. So I'm going to do a search, and I'll go to symbolset.com. So what Symbol Set does is it takes advantage of the idea of ligatures, which are symbols in a font where multiple letters connect to one another. So say you type Aeolian in some fonts, it's going to connect the A and the E into a single character, but you still type it with the individual letters. That's called a ligature. And what Symbol Set does is it takes common keywords and it makes ligatures that connect those keywords to icons. So let's say we were gonna type heart, you saw as we typed it here that it actually converted it to the icon. Now, if we were able to inspect this element, the text in the HTML would actually say heart, but what we see is the symbol heart. Now, they're using symbol set on the site, so if we inspect this cart element here, you'll see that the actual text here is cart. And if we decided to take a look through the styles over here, we'd see that there's no icon being added as part of a before pseudo selector or something like that. And if we edited this content here, let's go ahead and change cart to CRT. If we change that, you can see the text right here, CRT. That's because CRT doesn't line up with any of the icons. We can change it back to cart, and there we go. Or we could change it to something like heart, and it would change it to a heart. So the need that this approach fills is that of semantics. If we can convert text to images, then we get the best of both worlds. We get a textual description of what's being seen on the screen. We're able to communicate to people who are using screen readers or search engines or any other user agent that isn't seeing the visuals, but we still get the benefit of the icon. So I think this approach is pretty brilliant. It makes it very easy to remember how to use these icons because it's just text, which is kind of what we get with the classes in Font Awesome or the ones that Fantastic can produce, but it's even better because it's just the description of what the icon is and the semantics are great. The downside is that it costs to use this. So if you click on the icons and you scroll down to standard, which is one of the ones that I've used in the past, it costs $30. That's not a huge deal, but it does mean that certain people are going to be limited in being able to use this. And also you'll probably find yourself wanting to buy the other sets as well. I know I've kind of gone a little crazy with these. Also, because this uses ligatures, it's not going to translate very well to Fantastic if you want to merge these fonts with other fonts. So you'll have to weigh the benefits. In our case, I don't think we're going to get a huge amount of benefit. Let's go to our design. The places where we'd use it are places where we don't necessarily need additional descriptors for the icon. Like in the case of the phone symbol here, what using symbol cons would change is that this would read phone and then the number. And that would be nice, but that on its own doesn't seem beneficial enough to add a whole new font to the downloads. Down here, the symbols have even less meaning because they kind of double up with the headings below them. So for this project, at least so far, I don't think it makes sense to include symbol cons, but it sure is a really fun idea, and it solves a couple problems in a way that the other icon font solutions don't.